Zobo, Rosella, Sobolo, and so many other names like hibiscus is this plant that is so, so medicinal and helpful for your health. They sell it on the streets for as low as 100 naira, some places 200 naira. And you guys, we don't know the benefit of what we are drinking. We don't know the benefit, the health benefits of what we have in our fingertips. I've showed you some videos in the past of how to mix Zobo in small quantities for your family and for yourself. But in this video today, I'm going to show you how to make in commercial quantity. We are making about 100 plus bottles today. I'm going to show you how you can maximize the Zobo, the ingredients, what you can put to make it sweet, how you can, you know, use it to help yourself and all the other health benefits. Please keep on watching. Hi guys, so yes, this is Rusobo or Sobolo or Rosella or whatever you want to call it. I know Ghanaians have their own name, Jamaicans, Caribbeans have their own name, but this is what the plant looks like, the leaf, the dried leaf, okay? There are so many types of leaves. I think there are about three or four of this kind of leaf, of Zobo leaf. So you have to be very careful so you don't get the one that is bitter or that has sand. And speaking of sand, once you get your leaves, you have to select them carefully because yes, it's sandy. I imagine that these things are dried outside in the sun to dehydrate so of course they are sand they are particles sometimes you will see like other plants inside as well so you have to be very meticulous and making sure you clean it properly especially if you're making it in large quantities and then you want to wash and rinse it okay you don't have to put too much water because the more water you put the more of the flavor and the coloring that leaves it so wash it with minimal water but wash it thoroughly so like this now this quantity of water we wash it about three times okay to get it clean and then you can put it in your pot after this you wash again you wash again wash three times but like i said minimal water and wash it quickly so that you can get out all the sand and you don't lose all of the color because zobo is known for its color when it is rich and thick and deep red like burgundy that's when you know that you have the real sobo so like i said you make sure you wash it and clean it and you'll be surprised at the amount of sand okay and dirt that is left underneath i don't know if you can see it from this video but most of this under there is a lot of sand there's a lot of debris but it looks like this is even cleaner as clean as it is right now you can see some of the sand at the base of it it's because we washed it several times right so then you start to cook your sobo what I like to do is I don't fill the pot up completely with water because I know I'm going to add other ingredients, okay? So I add all my ingredients to see the level that it is on and then I fill it up. So we have pineapple. I've already cut the pineapple here. We have some oranges. This is the juiced pineapple, okay? And this is ginger. You can pound your ginger. You can grate it, but I use the blender to make my life easier. For the pineapple, like I said, because you're making it in commercial quantity and you're selling it to your clients, even if you're making it for yourself, make sure you wash this thing thoroughly. I know that we washed it the first time we went before we cut it and before we juice the pineapple. But you'll be surprised by how much dirt is still in the back of this pineapple. Think about it. It has come from a long journey that has been mixed up with other things. There's sand, there's dirt, there are insects and so many other things. Just look at this water. Will you believe that this pineapple was washed already? No. So please wash it thoroughly. Then you're going to put your pineapple bark and other ingredients you feel like putting in your zobo to let it cook. I have cucumber here. Okay, by the way, I divided this zobo in two. Okay, I don't like to fill the pot up because you want to maximize the flavor. You want to maximize the color and the quantity. So this is just one pot. I made two pots to make about 100 bottles, right? That's why I didn't put all the ginger and all the cucumber. So yes, I've put the pineapple bark. I've put the ginger. I've put the cucumbers and I'm going to let that cook. I'm also going to add cloves and I'm going to add lemongrass and I'm going to add cinnamon. Those are the ingredients i like to add to my sobo some people put other things inside of it some people put so many other things so it depends on what you like what you're used to how much you can tolerate in terms of quantity and measurement i feel that i use my pot to measure so i know how much to put the next time around okay so i know that one pot makes about 56 to 60 bottles so that's how i used to measure my ingredients i know that half of that bowl because i keep using the same pot the same bowl i reserve it for zobo specifically that's how i'm able to measure what i want to put inside 
but there are some times that i have clients or people who want it more peppery that they want more ginger or they want a little less ginger or some clients who don't want it sweetened at all so they don't want any fruit they just want it without anything those clients i don't put any extra pineapple i don't put pineapple juice i just leave it as it is okay with the fresh ingredients now let's talk about the benefits of zobo or rosella or sobolo or whatever you want to call it bisap as well one of the major reasons why Zubo is so good is that it has anti-inflammatory properties, okay? Those anti-inflammatory properties help with bloating, help with menstrual cramps, help with any kind of, you know, um, blood pressure issues and things like that. It can even be a pain reliever because of the cloves that are inside it, right? Cloves help with pain. They also help with preservation. They also help with flavor and all of that. So Zubo or Zobolo, or BSAP is good for anti-inflammatory properties. It's also good to regulate cholesterol, regulate sugar, blood sugar, because that's when it is not sweetened, by the way, as it is, okay? It is very helpful. Like I said, it also helps with menstrual cramps. If you're having menstrual cramps, you can take it as a hot drink, like a tea. You don't need it cold. You need it hot so that it can help with loosening the blood clots and the muscles and all of that in your system. Sobo can also help with other ailments like diabetes, like gout like so many other things okay the research is still ongoing about this but you know that it's a very very healthy drink for you when you don't add too many um you know sweetened things and too many sugars and all of that now the lemongrass as well you know don't go yarrow lemongrass helps with malaria helps with other treatment helps with even flu cold and flu symptoms it helps with gut health okay regulating your small intestines and your large intestines Sobo, Zobolo is very good for you. So like you have seen now, I had already strained it, the first batch, strained it the second time and then added more water to cook it again. And then I strained it with the cheesecloth and added it to this mixture. When it cooled down a little bit, I added some pineapple. Now guys, to make Zobo very sweet, naturally sweetened, you need a lot of pineapple. This pineapple juice I have here is not enough okay to make it sweet so you need to know your measurements like i said if you want it very sweet because pineapple is not enough to sweeten you need like maybe 20 to 30 pineapples to make it sweet enough to eat okay to drink rather for commercial quantities people add dates okay a lot of people use dates date syrup dates um you know date juice they blend dates together and it gives you this sweet flavor some people use sugar some people use honey some people use other kinds of sweeteners some people use pineapple flavor cocoa cola flavor some people even use stevia and other agave sweeteners okay things like that so whatever works for you you can use that to help you make your zobo sweet as it was like this it was not as sweet as it is i added my own personal sweetener which i can't tell you because it's a trade secret okay and then i let it cool and then i bottled it like this this is how you make zobo in commercial quantity it is a lot of work okay the cutting of the pineapples, the blending, the juicing, the turning, and waiting for it to cool. I think the longest thing is waiting for it to cool. But there you have it, guys. Zobo in a bottle that is delicious, is tasty. Everybody loved it. It's also very healthy and good for you. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you have any questions, I'll answer it for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.